Hi everyone, my name is Dia Damia Binti Mohd Sobri. You may call me Dia. I am from class CLC 590B09. The purpose of my presentation today is to inform how things today are different from past generations. Today, I would like to start my speech with rhetorical questions and followed by some facts. Can you guys answer me? How is today's youth are different from the youth of the past? How is it easier to be a teenager today than it was like 50 years ago? Is it harder or is it easier? And in what ways do you think it is different? And how do you think people in your age has been affected by the events, technology and culture of the years, years in, which, in which she has grown up now? To begin with, I would like to elaborate some points from Dr. Dad's website on 10 ways things today have different from the past generations. Perhaps I'll only pick a few examples and simplify it to explain to you guys so that you have a better understanding. Firstly, it's about technology. Things today has grown up with technology and are more comfortable with it rather than the past generations. Which is, today generations have access to smartphones, tablets, laptops and other devices that allow them to connect with the world around them in the ways that were once unimaginable. Today generations are very digital natives, fluent in social media, texting and other forms of online communication. Next. Diver diversity, which is today's teenagers are growing up in a much more diverse world rather than the previous generations. They are exposed to different cultures and perspectives which can help them becoming more open-minded and accepting of others. The third one is about mental health. Mental health issues are more prevalent among teenagers today than they were in the past, which is the, there are a variety of factors that may be contribute to this um, fact to this issue, which is including the increased academic pressure, social media use, and the stress of growing up in an uncertain world. Lastly, it's about activism. Today, teenagers are more engaged in social and political issues rather than the previous generations, which is they are more likely to participate in protests, advocacy, social justice movement, and today, generations are very passionate about making a differences in today's world. These are just a few examples on how today teenagers are different from the past generations. And of course, there are many other factors that maybe contribute to these differences. And it is important to remember that every generation has its own sh has, shown, has shaped by its own unique historical, cultural and social context. One relevant reason to explain how things today are different from past generation is the ubiquitous presence of technology and social media in their lives. Unlike past generations, today teenagers have grown, grown up with easy access to smartphones, computers and internet which has drastically changed the way they interact with the world around them. For example, social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and whatever have become a central part of many teenagers' social lives, allowing them to connect with peers and share their experiences in real time. To prove this statement, here I show to you guys the data based on a survey of 14,500 United States teens on United States teens' favorite social platform by the year October 2022. This continual connection to technology and social media has also resulted in changes in communication patterns and social conventions. With today's youth frequently depending on digital communication rather than the face-to-face -face conversation. Furthermore, the advancement of technology has had an impact on other aspects of adolescence life, such as education and also employment. Many teenagers nowadays have access to online learning platforms, allowing them to continue their education in novel and creative ways. Similarly, the gig economy and remote work alternatives have provided teenagers more options for employment. I have made a research and I found an article that authored by psychologist Jean Twench that has been published a book that combines a large scale surveys to paint a thorough image of the 10 characteristics that distinguish today's youth and the cultural influences that shape them. Twench once said they grew up with cell phones, had an Instagram page before they state started high school, and also do not remember a time before the internet. To illustrate, teenagers um, nowadays are less entitled, egoistical, and overconfident than the previous generations, and they are willingly to work hard. 
to the teenagers also are welcoming and concerned with social justice and because they are di- becoming more diverse and less partisan, they may eventually insist on more cooperative, just an egalitarian system. Sorry. In general, it appears that teenagers nowadays have much poorer emotional health as they are more depressed, anxious, and lonely. This is cited from the author Diana Devika on 20th October 2017 in the Greater Good magazine. Now, let's move on to my previous question. Do today's teens have it harder or easier than past generations? Let's take a look on my slide. And these are the article on newspaper that are written by the author Steve Capovilla. I found this article from the Swam reporter Amanda Rose on 22nd March 2021. Determining whether today's youth have it easier or tougher than previous generations is a difficult topic with no clear solution. It is very dependent on the exact the environment and elements under consideration. Back on the article, Novito Advance has explored this, this same question with five Novito citizens in the year 1987 and also another three students that still in STEM lo- local resident in the year 2021. Few of them has agreed that teenagers today has faced a greater challenges but, uh, than past generations, but some of them also have belief, belief otherwise, where they stated that it is easier to be a teenager today since they are technological advancement. advancement. From my point of view, comparing the current generation to previous generations, today's generation has faced greater challenges than the previous generations. As a matter of fact, according to the World Health Organization, or also called as WHO, roughly 10 to 20% of children and adolescents worldwide suffer from mental problems. Mental health problems are rather frequent in children and adolescents, and they can have a substantial impact on their general well-being. These figures provide insight into the prevalence and impact of mental health problems in children and adolescents. It is crucial to emphasize that these figures um, vary among countries and regions, and it is critical to prioritize early detection, intervention, and accessible mental health care for young people. On the whole, I would like to bring some recommendations on how we can improve the quality of today's generations which is um, we can create an open and supportive environment to discuss mental health issues, encourage teens to prioritize their well-being, seek help when needed, and teach them coping mechanisms for managing their stress and anxiety. Schools and communities also can provide resources and support system for teenagers to those that are struggling with mental health challenges. Next, maybe we can equip teens with essential life skills such as financial literacy, problem solving, communication, and decision making. Help them to develop resilience and adaptability to navigate the challenges of adulthood successfully. This is because today teenagers have less practical since they communicate more than online and not face-to-face conversation. So in summary, remember that each thing is unique and it's important for us to provide personalized support and guidance based on their individual needs and interests. Creating a nurturing and inclusive environment that acknowledge and celebrate their differences can help them to thrive in today's ever-changing world. I guess that's all from me. Thank you.